Hi there, and let's get right to it. I wanted to do a quick update on this function, addressing some of the changes that have been made in version 12.5 of DaVinci Resolve. So first of all, Retime Clip has now been renamed to Retime Controls in the Contextual menu. No big deal. Secondly, there is now a new option under it called Retime Curve, which gives you the same curve editor controls that all the other functions in the inspector have. I think this is great because the first time I showed someone how to retime clips in DaVinci Resolve, the first question they asked me was, can I control how suddenly this shift in speed occurs? And at the time, I had to say no, but this is no longer true. So what I'm going to do is enable retime controls. Just like before, I need to add speed points to indicate where I want the speed to change. And let's say my center will be at 400%. So now we have this kind of switch. And now I can right click on this clip and go into the curve controls, retime curve. Hey, this looks familiar. So I can click on the points, which are the keyframes and indicate that I want to go from a linear curve to an easy ease curve. And now I can decide that the speed, rather than having a linear transition, will have this nice smooth switch in which it gradually switches from the 400 to the 100%. A couple of other minor changes I like is the fact that you can now zoom in on your curves editor and your curve editor controls will always be visible. So you can see that these three controls in the top, left, middle, and right corners come with me as I move. And another neat thing is that in the top left corner, you can now drop down and reveal which curse controls you want to access. So even outside of the whole clip read timing, I can go back to things like my zoom controls and then click off and zoom out to reveal that they're down here. And now I can choose to maybe drop some keyframes and they're reflected live inside of this keyframe editor. And I can start to zoom in by pulling this up and then immediately introduce my curves controls. So then the speed of this zoom is gonna be affected as well. So I think this is a really handy addition and I really love that it's been included in 12.5. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.